a swimming in the river or the sea If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me What do fishies dream of when they're swimming in the river or the sea If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me Do they dream of growing wings and flying through the air? Do they dream of growing legs and running here and there? Would they like to kick a football or dig holes on the beach? Isn't it awful when the things you want are always out of reach? What do fishies wish for when they're swimming in the river or the sea? If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell? Me. What do fishies dream of when they're swimming in the river or the sea? If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me? Do they dream of drinking lemonade at a picnic in the park? Do they dream of sitting round a fire and singing in the dark? Would they like to try an apple? A banana or a peach Isn't it awful when the things you want are always out of reach? What do fishies wish for when they're swimming in the river or the sea? If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me? What do fishies dream of when they're swimming in the river or the sea? Somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me? Would they like to eat some chips? Of course, without the fish. It's strange to think about the things a little fish might wish. I have a wish I'm wishing, I'm hoping will come true. I'd like to know what fishies wish. Don't you? What do fishies wish for when they're swimming in the river or the sea? Somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me what do fishies dream of when they're swimming in the river or the sea? What do fishies dream of when they're swimming in the river or the sea? Oh, hi, I'm just collecting firewood. You see, I thought we'd have a bush barbecue. Billy tea, some damper, and a sausage. And if you promise to be good and not get tomato sauce all over your face or burp, you might even get two. I'll just get a few things ready. Dum do 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 do. Isn't this a great spot for a picnic? Don't the trees look beautiful? And listen, if you listen very carefully, you'll hear the creak. Why don't we go and sit on the bank while we wait for the billy to boil? Did you see that fish? There it was again. Oh no, you couldn't catch that one. Someone tried once in the big river a long way away from here. You see, he'd gone to the river because he was unhappy. And Mr. Scowl said that if he was so unhappy here, he should leave. And so Glum, that's the fish's name, went down to the cr... Hang on, I bet you don't know what I'm talking about. Look, sit down. Make yourself comfortable. And I'll tell you the whole story from the beginning. Glum's not so glum now, but once he was. In fact, he was more than just glum. He was unhappy. He was bad-tempered and rude and angry. You see... Because he was bigger than all the other fish, he thought he was more important. He didn't want to play with the little fish, and he was sick of living in a little creek. All day long he would swim around, mumbling to himself, Boring, boring, boring. Boring, boring, boring. I'm, I'm, I'm so bored. I'm so sick of this little creek and so little. It's so, so ordinary, it's so 
boring. Hey, Glam! Hey, Glam! You here? Hey. Oh, who's that? It's us, Finny! It's Swimmy! How are you, Glam? Yeah. How are you, Glam? I'm bored. Why are you so bored? I'm sick of this little creek. It's, it's very boring. Oh, well, 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 we'll see you later, Glum. Yeah. Have a nice day, Glum. Have a nice day, Glum. Have a boring day, you mean. What could I do? I could eat a worm. But they taste so boring. You know what I'd like? I would like to taste a nice, fat, juicy river worm. Oh, I bet those river worms taste great. Not like these boring creek worms. Hey, Glam! Woohoo, <laughs> Glam! Oh, no, not, not those two fish again. Hey, Glam, you want to play a game? Yeah, Glam, do you, do you? Do you want to play a game? Yeah, yeah, do you? Well, well, what sort of a game? You want to play, uh... Chasey? Mm, yeah, yeah. Boring. Huh. Uh, do you want to play, uh... Hide and seek? Yeah, yeah. Boring. Uh, do you want to play... Uh, space fish? Yeah, space fish. Oh, yeah, space fish. Yeah, Listen, yeah. Swimmy and Fitty, why don't you go away and leave me alone? Your games are very, very boring. Ah. Oh. Oh. All right, Glum, we'll, we'll, we'll see you later. Yeah, have a, have a nice day, Glum. Have a nice day, uh, Glum. Watch out for those weeds. How can anyone be happy in a place like this? I wish I was somewhere where the water was deep and the waves were high and the fish were as big as me. Oh, then I would be really happy. <laughs> When they're swimming in the river or the sea If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me What do fishies dream of when they're swimming in the river or the sea If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me Hello, Glum. You seem to be your usual unhappy self again on such a fine day. Oh, oh. hello, Mr Scales. A bit bored, are we? Yes, Mr Scales. How did you know? I just guessed. I suppose, Glum, I have a feeling you're not happy here, are you? No, Mr Scales. Well, Glum, you're a big fish now. Why don't you go into the wide world and find a place where you will be happy? You mean, leave the creek? Yes. And, and, and go into the, the river? Yes, my boy. Oh, Mr Scales. I could go to the river or a lake. No. I'll go to the sea. Or the ocean that I could splash and dive through the waves and, and... Oh, and I'll never, ever be bored. Glum, it sounds wonderful to me. I wouldn't wait if I was you. What do fishies wish for when they're swimming in the river or the sea? Somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me What do fishies dream of when they're swimming in the river or the sea? If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me Do they dream of growing wings and flying through the air? Do they dream of growing legs and running here and there? Would they like to kick a football or dig holes on the beach? Isn't it awful when the things you want are always out of reach? What do fishies wish for when they're swimming in the river or the
And so Glum went into the wide world, which is a long way away from here. He swam and he swam. He went past some great big rocks. He swam and he swam. He went past through some really thick weeds. And then at last, he reached the river. Oh, I, oh, I'm in the river. Wow. Oh, I'm in the big, wide river. I've always wanted to be in the river. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and find a nice, fat, juicy river worm. All my life, I've wanted to taste a river worm. While Glum was swimming around, having a wonderful time, and looking for a big, fat, juicy river worm, up behind him, very quietly, crept a great, big, green crocodile. Oh, oh, uh, you, you, you're not a fish? No, I'm a crocodile. Oh, I, I've, I've never met a crocodile before. Hello, Mr. Crocodile. Well... Actually, all my friends call me Dundee. Well, pleased to meet you, Mr Dundee. Yes, and pleased to eat you too. Pardon? Oh, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> just joking, son. Uh, I mean, pleased to meet you. Uh, you seem to be looking for something. I'm looking for a river worm. I believe they taste lovely. They do. They do. Do, do. do you eat river worms, Mr Dundee? I do, son. But I eat other things as well. Fat things and juicy things. I eat things with bones. I love crunching bones. But, but worms don't have bones. Do river worms have bones? No, son. They don't. Whoa. But you do! <laughs> Glum swam away from that crocodile as fast as he could. He swam and swam. All of a sudden, he noticed the water was flowing faster. Faster and faster it went. He wasn't used to this. It started to pull him along. I'm stuck in a whirlpool! Oh, oh, I didn't know the river could be as rough as this. Poor old Glum. He was very sad and sorry. He was wishing he was at home. Then all of a sudden, he saw something. He saw a long string hanging down in the water. And on the end of the string was a sharp fish hook. And on the end of the string was a big, fat, juicy river worm. Oh, a big, fat, juicy river worm. All my life, I've wanted to taste a river worm. He swam over with his mouth wide open. He took one big bite and... Oh, 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 there, there's a hook in my mouth! There's a hook in my mouth! Oh, oh. Glum shook and shook. He pulled and pulled. He jumped right out of the water and luckily the hook came out. Oh, oh, oh. Poor Glum. His mouth was very sore. He was tired and hungry and frightened. I, I wish, I wish, I wish I was home. I wish I was back in that nice little creek with Swimmy and Finny and all the others. <laughs> When the 
they're swimming in the river or the sea If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me What do fishies dream of when they're swimming in the river or the sea If somebody knows, can somebody call and tell me Glum decided to go home. He swam through the weeds, past the big rocks. At last he reached the little creek and he was home. The little creek seemed friendly and nice and not boring at all. Hey Glum, you're back! It's nice to see you Glum, welcome back! Well Glum, You've returned from your adventures. And tell me, are you back for good? Or will you be leaving us again soon? Oh, n- not me, Mr Scales. I'm never leaving again. This little creek is the best place in the world. And I call it home. Can you see what I am? Just look I'm an elephant When I walk down the street People say He's an elephant Great big ears Biggest in the world A very long trunk With a lovely curl Can you see what I am? Just look I'm an elephant When I walk down the street People say He's an elephant, could have been a sheep Growing wool all day I'd rather be wrinkly, nice and grey Can you see what I am? Just look I'm an elephant When I walk down the street People say He's an elephant Feed me lots of peanut butter on a slice of bread If I couldn't be an elephant I'd rather be dead Can you see what I am? Just look I'm an elephant When I walk down the street People say He's an elephant Take me home with you Hide me in your bed If your mother screams out and says Hey, what's that? You say Can you see what that is? Just look It's an elephant When he walks down the street People say He's an elephant, can you see what I am? Just look, I'm an elephant When I walk down the street, people say That's an elephant, I'm an elephant I'm an elephant, I'm an elephant All right, everybody listen Okay, are you ready? Put your hat on Have you put on some sunscreen? And who's left their bag on the footpath? Everyone stay together. Here we go. We're going to see Edwin, the loneliest elephant in the world. That's him, over there, in the elephant enclosure, leaning on that old petrol pump. Well, of course, there's another elephant. That's Alice. Alice is Edwin's friend. You see, Edwin isn't lonely now. But not so long ago, Edwin was very sad because he was the only elephant in the zoo. The zookeeper was very worried. Edwin, cheer up, old boy. Hey, you haven't eaten your food and you're hanging your trunk down in such a, a miserable way. Oh, it's enough to make me cry. The zookeeper didn't cry, but Edwin did. The zookeeper knew he had to do something to cheer Edwin up. He thought and thought. Then in the middle of the night, while he was lying in bed, he had a brilliant idea. Next morning he got up early and went to tell Edwin. Good morning, Edwin. Oh, I know what's wrong with you and I know just what you need. You, my grey old pachyderm, need a hobby. 
An interest in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something to keep you busy. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. You need a job. Mm -hmm. And so Edwin got a job. What kind of job? Edwin had to do the shopping. The zookeeper gave him a basket to hold in his trunk and all the money was in a small purse in the basket. And because elephants have such good memories, Edwin didn't need a shopping list. And so Edwin would walk down to the shops. Can you see what I am? Just look. I'm an elephant. When I walk down the street, people say, he's an elephant. Great big ears, biggest in the world. A very long trunk with a lovely curl. Can you see what I am? Just look. I'm an elephant when I... Oh, look at that! Hey, look, that's well. Hey, yeah. hey Bobby, look, oh, that's his elephant! Cute. Isn't Ooh. he cute? Yeah. Oh, he's so big. Hey. <laughs> I imagine seeing an well, elephant. He's got a shopping trunk. Yeah, <laughs> shopping yeah. basket yeah. in his yeah. trunk. Isn't he cute? <laughs> oh. Edwin was so happy that he trumpeted a tune on his trunk. Edwin walked to the milk bar where he would stop outside the door and then with his trunk he would pass the basket into the shopkeeper. Sometimes the customers in the shop got a fright. But there was one thing Edwin liked to do best of all when he went shopping and that was... Stopping off at the local service station on the way home. He loved the service station because he could talk to the petrol pumps and pretend they were elephants. And Mr McGregor, who owned the service station, liked Edwin very much. Hello, Edwin. Oh, it's nice to see you again. Come to say hello to the petrol pumps, have you? Oh, I can tell that petrol pumps are happy to see you too. I miss you, you know, when you're not here. Now, if you're not in a hurry, you might be able to help me. How about helping the boys in the car wash? Washing cars is the perfect job for an elephant. Edwin would suck the water up into his trunk, take a big breath, and blow. <coughs> Can you see what I am? Just look, I'm an elephant. When I walk down the street, people say, he's an elephant. Great big ears, biggest in the world. A very long trunk with a lovely curl. Can you see what I am? Just look. I'm an elephant. One day, while Edwin was talking to a petrol pump, a lady drove up in a large red car. Fill up with petrol, please, young man. So Edwin turned on the petrol pump and put the end of the hose through the window of the car. Oh, just a minute. What are you doing? You're squirting the petrol in through the window. Oh, stop it. Don't stop it. <laughs> However did you get this job? And look at your uniform, it's all wrinkly. Can't you get someone to iron your overalls? Well, there is something you can do. My back tire is flat. Please, blow it up again. Edwin was really sorry for the mess he had made, so he wanted to make up for it in some way. He put the end of his trunk over the valve of the tire and he blew and blew and blew. Everyone was furious. Edwin was never allowed to go out again. He was very upset and he cried and cried.
and so they gave him a petrol pump to talk to. <coughs> then last week, while Edwin was talking to his petrol pump, <coughs> telling him about the time he blew up a tire, <coughs> he heard a loud noise. It was a huge truck. It drove right into the zoo and stopped next to Edwin's enclosure. Edwin! This is a special surprise for you, Edwin. The zookeeper opened the door of the truck and out stepped... <coughs> That's right, another elephant. It was Alice, Edwin's new friend. That's why Edwin looks so happy now. <coughs> I suppose that Edwin, who was the loneliest elephant in the world, is now the happiest elephant in the world. Can you see what I am? Just look, I'm an elephant. When I walk down the street, people say, He's an elephant, great big ears, biggest in the world, a very long trunk with a lovely curl. Can you see what I am? Just look, I'm an elephant. When I walk down the street, people say, he's an elephant, could have been a sheep, growing wool all day, I'd rather be wrinkly, nice and grey. Can you see what I am? Just look, I'm an elephant. When I walk down the street, people say, he's an elephant. Feed me lots of peanut butter on a slice of bread. If I couldn't be an elephant, I'd rather be dead. Can you see what I am? Just look, I'm an elephant. When I walk down the street, people say, He's an elephant, take me home with you, hide me in your bed, if your mother screams out and says, Hey, what's that? You say, can you see what that is? Just look, it's an elephant, when he walks down the street, people say, he's an elephant, can you see what I am? Just look, I'm an elephant, when I walk down the street, people say, that's an elephant, I'm an elephant, I'm an elephant, I'm an elephant. I'm an elephant.